take care of your old pal till he's safe in his corral. Roll along, ride him, cowboy, roll along. Roll along, ride him, cowboy, roll along. Roll along, ride him, cowboy, roll along. Happy when the sun goes down, loop him up and go to town. Roll along, ride him, cowboy, roll along. With the night shadows falling, ride along. With the night shadows falling right along With your boots and saddles too All the hurt depends on you Roll along, ride him, cowboy, roll along Boy, will you see me when I get all beat up? Well, you see what I'm gonna spruce up with? Hey, give me a towel here, will you? Hey, where's the towel? Right here. here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Randy! Hey, Randy, Randy. Hey, Give me a towel there. Hey, Randy, you going to the rodeo in uh, Tucson? I don't know, Pinky. I haven't made up my mind. What do you mean you haven't made up your mind? How about I trip to Chicago? I don't get excited, Barry. I said I'd go with you, didn't I? Yeah, but you've been saying that for five years. Well, why didn't we go last year? Well, I got the lumbago. So? So I'm going this year if I get the mumps. Left. Hey, a trip like that'll cost a lot of jack, won't it? Yeah, and we got a lot of jack, too. Old man Morgan's been holding our pay for over a year, and now we're going to get it all in one chunk. What are you going to do with it? Oh, we're going to spend it with nothing on our mind but fun. And that's what I call a real vacation. Say, I know a couple of small gals in Chicago. Yeah, but don't let them know that I'm coming to town, because when I walk down that main street... Hey, I'll have to have a cane so I can knock those cuties off. <laughs> you won't need a cane with that mug you got. Well, maybe a pair of gloves might. What kind of talk is that? Hey, hey, lady killer. Let's go collect our money. Oh, yeah. Well, goodbye, boy. I'll send you a postcard from Chicago. You said we could have our money any time we wanted it. Well, the money for the cattle will be here in a couple of weeks, and if you... A couple of weeks? Oh, we wanted to get away today. Isn't there some way you can dig it up? We certainly depended on that money. Yeah, we were going to take a trip to... Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I knew we should have taken care of that money ourselves. Here's a note for $2,500 on the Blake Ranch. I've had it for some time. It's as good as gold. Well, hi, that you never collected on it. Because I never really needed the money. And Mrs. Blake is an old friend of mine. I haven't seen her for several years, but I knew if I ever needed the money to be there for me. I know, but uh, uh, how do you get the money on it? You won't have any trouble. Just present it. Well, where does this Mrs. Blake live? Mesa City. Well, that'll take us two days out of our way. And uh, uh, you sure this note's all right? Well, I wouldn't give it if it wasn't. Well, that's good enough for me. All right. I guess it's good enough for me, too. Well, where you been, Randy? Mr. Morgan forgot to endorse the note. Well, does that make it any tougher to get? No. Here's what he added. For value received, I hereby assign the above note to Randall Porter and Barry Barker. Mm -hmm. Signed, Frederick Morgan. That means we can collect. Oh, Morgan ain't so dumb with that, getting us to collect his back debts for him. <laughs> That's what I call killing two stones with the one bird. That's what you say. On demand, I promise to pay Frederick Morgan... Uh, $2,500 with interest at the rate of 6% per annum. And, uh, sign Mrs. Edwina M. Blake. Gee, Randy, I hope we can collect this. Well, he says the woman's rich. And besides, the note says pay on demand. And that's just what we're going to do. Demand it, right? Right. Well, listen, Randy, we worked a whole year for that money. And if she starts to stall, you get tough. We won't let her get away with anything. I'm going to be the toughest note collector you ever saw. Good. Mrs. Blake, get out your gold, for here we come. It's one of the easiest jobs of a man ever got on his life. Need any more hands? Sure. Ain't that what we've been telling you? Yeah, we just signed up with Fenton. Twice the wages, half the hours, and plenty of good times. At least we'll get our money every month. And you don't know whether old Lady Blake will ever pay. It's a dirty trick to leave old Lady Blake in the lurch. Why? She owes everybody in town. Now I hear they're going to take her property for back taxes. Easy. Here comes old Chip. I told you fellas to clear out of here. And I want you to quit riling these men up. Take it easy, Chip. 
We're just getting ready to go. Bring it over, boys. See you again. And Shorty, you take Marty. Get that wagon there and put those signs up. The rest of you fellas go take care of them fence posts. Say, what you saw, ain't it? That job Bixby's talking about. Yeah, it's worth looking into. Take me back to my boots and saddle. That general store. Let me ride that range once more. Give me my boots and saddle. Let me ramble along the prairie. Steers on old bar X with my buddies slim and tech. Oh, give me my boots and saddle. Got a hankering to be with the banjo on my knee. Coming a pretty western tune. There's a gal in Cherokee and she's waiting there for me. Waiting beneath the Texas moon, so take me back to my boots and saddle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me greet each blaze in morn on the ranch where I was born. My boots and saddle. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought that guy said it was only three miles. He said it was three miles to the sign. That makes it a hundred and three miles. What's the matter, you hot? Hey, I've sweat so much, I bet my horse thinks it's raining. Howdy. How do you do? Wasting your time going out to the Blake Ranch. All right, what's the matter? Ain't it there no more? Sure, but there's no jobs open. We're not looking for work. Well, then, where are you heading for? Chicago. Chicago? You're going the wrong way. This road leads out to the Blake Ranch. I know. But my horse wants to say hello to a friend. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of talk is that? Chicago. <laughs> Big tough. Don't worry. I'll just slap that note under her nose and say give. That a boy. Yeah. I'll hold him. You'll only be in there about five minutes. Could I speak with Mrs. Blake? Is there anything I can do? I'm her daughter. Oh. How do you do, Miss Blake? I'm, uh, my name's Porter. Randy Porter. This is Mr. Barker. Pleased to meet you. We just came over from Circle Star Ranch, Fred Morgan's place. You had quite a ride. Oh, no. Only two days. Are you friends with Mr. Morgan? Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, Mother will be delighted. Mr. Morgan's one of our oldest friends. Won't you come in? Well, Randy, we won't uh, have time to... Please, sir. Certainly. Let 
me take your hat. You say Mr. Morgan sent you? Well, uh, not exactly. We were just riding by and uh, thought we'd stop in to say hello. You must be hot and thirsty. Let me get you a cold drink. Make yourself at home and I'll be right back. Hey, is that what you call being tough? Well, what do you want me to do? Tell her. Well, she doesn't owe us the money. Besides, I can't just blurt the thing right out. Oh, you can't. Well, how long will it take you to blurt the thing right out? Here's your lemonade. Thank you. Lemonade's our favorite drink. I hope you like it. That's just about the best lemonade I ever tasted. How did you find Mother, Doctor? I don't think there's any occasion to worry, Janet. Just let her rest for a couple of days, and everything will be all right. Oh, uh, these gentlemen are friends of Mr. Morgan. They just dropped in to say hello. Hello, Doctor. Hi, Doc. Well, I wouldn't disturb your mother right now. You gentlemen understand. Janet! Excuse me a minute, please. Is Mrs. Blake very sick, Doctor? Yes, she's been under quite a strain. Game, little woman. Been making a hard fight to keep up this ranch. On top of it all, she's afraid she's going to lose it because of back taxes. Oh, will it be all right to talk a little business? Is it anything that'll cheer her up? Well, it'll cheer us up. As long as it isn't anything that'll cause her additional anxiety. You know how those things are. Good day, gentlemen. That makes it kind of awkward. The woman's sick one. Oh, we... don't pay any attention to that old sawbones. You know how doctors are. They exaggerate everything. All you gotta do is be careful on how you handle it. You know, break it to her gently and kind of ease your way along. But get that dough. Would you mind coming in Mother's room? She'd like to see you. Certainly. Come along, Barry. Oh, I don't think it'd be good for her to see the both of us. Oh, it's all right. Oh, I know, but we haven't much time. See, we're in a hurry. All I... right. I'll wait here. You sit right here, Mr. Porter. Mr. Porter. Thank you. And now, tell me all about Fred Morgan. He's one of the finest fellows I ever knew. Well, he'll be very sorry to know that you were ill. I'm not really ill. I just wanted an excuse to go to bed for a day or two. Don't you believe her, Mr. Porter? She had a real bad turn the other day. Well, I sure hope you'll be well soon, Mrs. Blake. She won't if she doesn't follow the doctor's orders. And now... Tell me all about Fred. My mother, the doctor said you were to rest. Let's have a long talk after supper. I'm afraid we can't stay for supper. Nonsense. Of course you'll stay. Maybe they have important business, Mother. No, it isn't that. But we've been picking on a vacation for a long time. What we really came by... To... Well, you stay overnight anyway. It's awfully nice of you. But I'm afraid we'd be in the way. Oh, nonsense. Janet, you take Mr. Porter and the other gentleman into the spare room. But really, Mrs. Blake? Now it's all settled. Now, Mother, you go to sleep. All right, dear. Don't forget to come in after supper, will you? I hope you don't mind sharing the same room. Of course not, it. It's mighty comfortable. If there's anything you want, let me know. We'll have supper at six. Thank you. Hey, what is this share the room business? Well, Mrs. Blake insisted on our staying overnight with her. She's the sweetest woman I ever met. I just fell in love with her the minute I saw her. Are you sure you're talking about the mother? What are you driving at? Well, I don't know whether you noticed the daughter or not. You know, that one was just in here. Remember? But she ain't the one we collect from. What do you expect me to do? You heard what the doctor said. If anything happened to that old lady now, I'd never forgive myself. Oh, Randy, I've heard of people being sick five and ten years. What do you want to do, bunk here that long? She'll be all right in the morning. You think so? Certainly. Well, listen, Randy, will you slap that note right in under her nose and get the dough? Of course. Remember, in the morning. In the morning. In the morning to Chicago. Mrs. Blake. Oh, yeah. 
She's sick. What do you want? Excuse me, Mr. Fenton. I, I didn't know you were busy. We'll wait. Sure you won't get into any trouble over this, Fenton? Seems like taking an unfair advantage. It's business. The ranches are put up for auction and we buy them. It's done every day in the week. Is there anything wrong with that? No, but if I have to continue refusing loans, it's going to arouse a lot of bitter feeling against me. You want to get rich, don't you? Yes, but my bank's supposed to make loans. Now listen, you're either with me or you're not. And if you're not... Oh, I'm with you, Otie. Fine. That's the way to talk. Don't forget me when it's time to cash in. You be guided by me, Wilson. I'll work the whole thing out. Sorry we broke in on you, Odie. What do you want? You wanted to report on the Blake Ranch, didn't you? I don't want a report. I want action. Say, we just about got those cowpokes eaten out of our hands. Yeah, we can pull them any time we want. All right, pull them. Say, Odie. Yeah? Looks like you're not going to control all the manpower around here. How so? When we were riding in from the Blake Ranch, we met a couple of guys going out. Said they were going to Chicago. Yeah, but they were sure heading for the Blake Ranch. Well, you know what to do. Run them off. They don't look like the kind that would run. Well, then carry them off, understand? How are you, Fenton? I can't wait any longer on that Blake deal, Hathaway. If she doesn't want to do business, I'll have to look for something else. Well, I'm afraid that's what you'll have to do, because Mrs. Blake absolutely refuses to sell. How's she going to raise the tax money? Deadlines next week. She's going to sell off the cattle. Well, I'm sorry to have bothered you, have I? No bother at all, Fenton. Hi there, young Steve. Hello. Are you going to work here? No, nope, we're just coming. My name's Danny. How oh, Barry. Where are you? How long are you going to stay? Oh, we're pulling out of here in the morning. What are you mad about? I ain't mad. There's the special cross. That's an expression, Danny. You make faces for him while I go take care of the horse. Well, uh... Has Manny been sick? No, I'm never sick. Well, what are you doing in that, uh, that uh, go-kart? Well, I can't walk. I fell off of a horse when I was a little boy. Oh, that's tough. Oh, it isn't. I bet you I can beat you running, and I'll give you a head start. <laughs> well, I'll take your word for that. Uh, what are you doing with that thing, man? I'm learning how to play it. That's uh, just what I thought. Look here, you don't hold your fingers right. Look, I'll show you. You take and put your fingers here. Come along, boys, and listen to my tale. I'll tell you all my troubles on the old Southern Trail. Come a tie, yippee, 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 come a tie, yippee, yippee, Woke up one morning on the old Chisholm Trail, rope in my hand and a cow by the tail. Come a tie, yippee, yippee, yay, yippee, yay, come a tie, yippee, yippee, yay. Old Ben Bolt was a darn good boss, but he went to see his gal on a sore back horse. Come a tie, yippee, yippee, yay, yippee, yay, come a tie, yippee, yippee, yay. Went to the boss to draw my roll, had me figured out nine dollars in the hole. Come tie, yippee, yippee, yay, yippee, yay, come tie, yippee, yippee, yay. My knees in the saddle and my seat in the sky. With punching cows in the street by and by. Come a tie, yippee, 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 come tie, yippee, yippee, yippee. Sing something else, Randy. Don't let him boss you, Mr. Porter. Oh, you won't have to boss him. He'll sing with the least encouragement. You're just jealous because you can't sing. Oh, who said I couldn't sing? My folks wanted me to study for opera. Well, let's hear you. Oh, no, I'm insulted now. Go ahead, Mr. Barker. You show them. All right. For you, I will. Me, 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 me. 
Give me my boots and saddle. I guess my folks was wrong. <laughs> you better sing, Randy. I've got a girl and her hair hangs in curls and her age, it is just 17. She is a daisy, she near drives me crazy as she tickles me under the chin. Oh dear, she tickles me here and it's ha 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 ha. She tickles my jaw with a big piece of straw and it's ha 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 ha. ought to be good for $6,700. Well, Mr. Fenton was in to see me today. He's still interested in buying your ranch. But I don't want to sell. But if you don't pay your tax bill, you're going to lose the place anyway. Seems to me like it's a question of choosing the lesser of two evils. Mr. Fenton is very sympathetic toward you, Mrs. Blake. I think it's a nice gesture on his part. Oh, I think it's a nicer gesture if he would lend her the $6,700. Why don't you sell your cattle off, Mrs. Blake? I should think... Well, if you're going to listen to every Tom, Dick, and Harry... Oh, don't be so touchy, Arthur. We need all the advice we can get. And my advice is for you to accept Mr. Fenton's offer. It'll be a clear 5000 5000 That'll be clear after the taxes are paid. Of course, that doesn't include the cattle. That'll give you a chance to start someplace else. But we've invested $30,000 of our own money. Well, I'd like to find a bargain like that myself. Uh, so would I. 5000 for 30000 Don't you ever think... Maybe of... we'd better defer this discussion You'll until... excuse us. We'll get the mail. Yeah, it's getting stuffy in here. Well, there's no use crabbing about it. It won't help matters any. I know, but when I think of how hard we work for Morgan and for him to play a dirty trick like this, why, it's a swindle, that's what it is. Morgan's all right. Yeah, but that note ain't. Everything's going to work out all right if you'll just keep your shirt on. Mm. And don't forget, Mr. Hathaway's taking care of everything. Oh, that's swell. What do you think of that fella? Well, I ain't sure about that guy. But with a little encouragement, I'd short it. Uh-uh-uh. Well, I don't like him. What's the matter, old-timer? The men all quit him. What's the matter? Do you owe them two? No. I paid them in advance. Thinking that I could hold them. What's your idea? You got a bribe them around here? It's getting to be that bad. Oh, I knew that Fenton would take every man off of this place. Fenton? Why, he's a friend of the family, isn't he? That's what they think. I bet a month's pay that I can go right down to Fenton's joint right now and find them all lined up against the bar getting drunk. Oh, I hate to worry, Mrs. Blake, but... Well, I wouldn't say anything to her about it if I were you. Well, what am I going to do? I can't run a ranch without cow hands. Well, why don't you wait till in the morning? Yeah. Maybe they'll decide to come back then. I doubt it. Maybe you're right. No use of spoiling her night's sleep. 
You're right. There's no use of spoiling ours either. Come on, Randy. Good night, old timer. Good night. What are you going to do? Stay up all night? I sure feel sorry for Miss Blake. I wish we could help her. Well, I'd like to know what more we could do. We sure saved her life when we stalled off on that note. Unless you want to give her that 600 that, that I managed to hold out. $600 won't help her any. Well, if she rounds up her cattle, she'll get all she needs, won't she? Well, how is she going to do that without cow hands? Well, I guess we'll sit up all night and worry about that. It's a dirty trick. What would you do if a bunch of men walked out on you? What would I do? Say so I'd go down there and I'd get those guys out of there pronto. Oh, but that's none of our business. But it is our business. We've got to protect that $2,500. And the only way we can do it is to go down there and get those men and bring them back. Oh, Randy, will you go down and get them out? Gee, I'm tired. All right. If that's the way you feel about it. Go ahead and get your beauty sleep. But I'm going down and bring those men back. Fine, pal, you turned out to be. Oh, well, hey, Randy, listen, you know, I, I didn't say I wouldn't go. Gee, I'll protect that 2500 and that trip to Chicago. Hey, hey, Randy, look. the color of some of your money. Money? What do you mean, money? Boss said we could have all we wanted. Didn't he? Uh, he didn't right. tell me anything like that. All right, Mike. Ben said take care of him. All right, with me. Come on, give it to him. He said he'd pay for it. For he's the jolly good fellow. For he's the jolly good fellow. Have a fine time getting those nightingales away from that bar. Yeah. If we wait a while, we can roll them back. <laughs> <laughs> you fellows from the Blake Ranch? Yeah. 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 But we quit. What are you standing on? Quiet, you or I'll pour you back in the bottle. What'd you quit for? You afraid of work? Counting drinks is better than counting cows. Yeah, and getting paid for it besides. Sure. Uh, right. well, what are you going to do about the money Miss Blake advanced you? The way I figured, it ain't none of your business. That's right. That's why you're mistaken, friend. We're going to make this very much our business. You fellas made a deal, and you're going to go through with it. You look thirsty, and you look tired. Sit down. Hey, Odie. There's a couple of mugs out there putting a damper on your party. Who are they? Those two smart alecks we saw going out to Blake Ranch. Get this straight, mister. You nor nobody else is going to ask me to go back to work. No, 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 no. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. And that goes for the rest of you fellas. What's going on here? A revival meeting? I'm just trying to get the boys to do the right thing. Yeah? Well, they're doing the right thing. And if you don't keep your trap shut, I'll have you thrown out on your ear. You even have to hire someone to do that for you, huh? Well, I don't throw you, defense. Getting a little careless with that talk of yours, aren't you? I'm willing to back it up. All right. Take it easy, you. He's a little old there, partner. Any more arguments? No, sir. No. That argument's good enough for me. All right. Outside. Pick up the pieces, you. Oh, go on. Give that to him when he grows up. Hey, are you going back to work? Yes, and so are you. Why didn't you back me up? I was too busy. I threw that time, 
Harris. It sounds better than it did a few days ago, doesn't it? Yeah. You're getting to be quite a guitarist. Well, if I'm going to Mesa City, I better get started. Aren't you going in the roundup? Oh, sure, but I have to go in town to see about the cattle. I'll catch up with the boys later. Gosh, it's going to be awful lonesome around here, Harry. I wish you wouldn't go. You do, huh? Mm hmm. Well, but well, gee, you don't expect me to stay here all my life and teach you how to play the guitar, do you? Well, we'll have lots of lessons when you get back, won't we? Well, I don't know, Danny. You see, after the roundup is over and we collect, and uh, that is, uh, we straighten up a few things, uh, we're going to Chicago. How long does it take to go to Chicago? <laughs> it's taken me five years and I ain't there yet. <laughs> Gee, it must be wonderful to be able to go that place. Yes, it is, Danny. See you later, cowboy. Come in, Barry. Uh, Mrs. Blake, Randy's sending me in town about the cattle, and I, I thought maybe there was something I could do for you. No, thanks, Barry. Well, uh, I was uh, wondering, Mrs. Blake. Yes, sir. Is there a chance of Danny ever walking again? Oh, yes. Yeah. I had a specialist here right after the accident. He seemed most encouraging. Said he thought we could do something if we didn't wait too long. Oh, then there is a chance. The doctor's fee is $1,500. $1,500? Yeah. What did you say the name of the doctor was, Mrs. Blake? Dr. Cooper. Dr. Cooper? I used to know a doctor for that name. I wonder if it could be the same one. He lived in, uh, uh, that's funny. I know it as well as I do my own name. Uh, he lived in... Uh... Yeah, we passed through there on our way in. Oh, but it couldn't be the same one, though. Well, he's really a splendid doctor. He's good, huh? Well, well I gotta go now. You sure there's nothing I can do for you? Not a thing. Goodbye. scattering the Blake cattle, what about those two fellas that were going to Chicago? Well, you know what to do. Looks like old Eddie Blake's wasting their time rounding up that cattle. Hey, Tenton? Now, remember, I want that herd scattered so far, it'll take 30 days to round them up again. Do that mountain lay up here for a while. Oh. Uh -huh. 
On the sunny side of the rocket Where the desert kisses the sea There I left my love near the rocket When we said goodbye tenderly Though mountains are high And we're far apart In my dreams I'm with my sweetheart On the sunny side of the rocket Where the desert kisses the sea On the sun The note's as good as gold. You know, I consider this a bit cheeky on your part, Barker. But I only want it for a few days. And I'll give you 10% interest, too. In, In the, the first place, I'm not running a bank. Well, I know. In the you're... second place, I don't like the way you and your partner have constituted yourselves as an advisory board for the whole Blake family. What? And I particularly object to Mr. Porter's attitude towards Miss Blake. Well, why so? He's sure nice to her. He sings songs That's to her. That's just he... what I object to. Why, she never would have thought of going on this roundup if it hadn't been for him. Do you know that Miss Blake and I were practically engaged when you showed up around here? <laughs> oh, I know what you mean now, Conkley. But you got Randy all wrong there. We're only killing time. Why, we're going to feed it to Chicago just as soon as Mrs. Blake pays off that note. Mrs. Blake? Yeah. What's she got to do with it? Why, her name's signed to it. Let me see it. You know, we only came out of here to collect it. When we found her sick, you know, in the ranch. How much do you want to borrow? Nine hundred dollars. But listen, Conklin, this is on a QT, you know, under your hat. I don't want the Blakes to know a thing about it. You won't have to worry about that. Good. I'll uh, keep this note as security. You understand that, of course. Oh, sure. You know, maybe I'm going to like you. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. Silent are the hoofbeats that clamored all day long. Evening brings the echoes of the cowboy's song. Midnight and a million twinkling stars up in the sky. What a perfect picture of a western paradise. Stars over the desert like candles aglow. Bring peaceful reflections and new Collections of love dreams. Hear the cow hand singing beside the campfire glare, telling of the dogie. Well, 
Mr. Hathaway. Where's Miss Janet? Somewhere. Stars over the desert make cares of the day. Drift over the desert to nowhere. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Mr. Hathaway. Didn't expect you here. Evidently. I'd like to talk to Janet alone. Certainly. I know what you're thinking, Arthur. You may as well know how things stand. I care a great deal for Randy. More than I've ever cared for anybody else. I'm sorry to hear this, Janet, because I'm afraid I've got some news that's going to upset you. About Randy? Yes. I know this is going to hurt your pride, but his reason for staying on here had nothing to do with any romantic interest in you. What do you mean? Take a look at this. Why didn't you tell us about this? Where did you get that? Your partner was trying to peddle it around town. It cost me exactly $900. But I consider the money very well spent. You only came here to collect that money, didn't you? Well, we were on our way to Chicago. And if things had turned out different... Oh, don't try to beat around the bush, Porter. Answer this. Why were you so interested in having Mrs. Blake sell her cattle? Where do you get off to cross-examine me? I haven't committed any crime. Not legally, perhaps, but morally. It was bad enough to abuse Mrs. Blake's hospitality. When you worm your way into a girl's affection just to collect a measly bill... Say another word and I'll... Janet! Let me explain. What's there to explain? I appreciate all the help you've given us, but there's no reason for you to remain any longer. As for the money, you'll get every cent of it. But, Janet, you must listen. I... Please. Doctor? You just take a hammer and knock it off. Well, I have to keep it on very long. Not very. We'll have you running around in no time. And will I be able to ride my pony? Of course. Let me cover him up now, Nurse. Dr. Cooper, do you really think there's a chance? Absolutely. You can warn that pony right now. He's in for some hard riding. I wish you'd tell me who arranged all of this. I'm sorry, Miss Blake, but that's a confidential matter. I promise not to mention any names. But I will tell you this. It's someone who's very fond of Danny. Thank you. Goodbye, Miss Blake. What do you mean by sending that note to Hathaway? Well, when Mrs. Blake said that Danny would have a chance to walk, did he tell you? Yes. He told Janet. 
By the time he got through, it made me look like a horse thief. Why, that? You don't mean to say that she believed him? Enough to run me out of camp. Oh, gee, Randy, I'm sorry. I didn't think I was going to start anything like this. I'll go back and tell her. No use, Larry. Well, we've done all we can. Let's get back to town. Now I know I don't like that guy. Like somebody camped here. Couldn't have been gone over a half an hour. And the tracks lead back towards the camp. Oh, what do you care? Say, we got a lot of riding to do. And when I get back to town, I'm going on one grand spree. And if you had any sense, you'd do the same thing, too. Come on, Randy. What's the matter now? I'm still wondering what outfit that was. Well, what difference does it make? Well, it might make a lot of difference. They were keeping to the upper trails. And that meant they didn't want to be seen. Yeah. I've got a hunch we ought to go back. <laughs> that suits me, too. I'd like to go back and punch that half away right in his nose. Come on. Take care of the fellows guarding the cattle. No gunplay, you understand? Unless you have to. Get off of those horses. And keep your trap shut. Somebody's moving the cat. Let's clear out, Benton. Every man for himself. Thank you. 
these cattle so bad, we're going to let you have them. But at top market price. If I ain't glad to see you. <laughs> Is it safe to come out now? Oh, yeah, sure, but let me help you first. Now, you know, just take it easy. Ow! Oh. Come here, and look out. Don't, don't bump your head again. Hey, Barry, here's your watch. Thanks, Danny. Gee, I wouldn't know what to do without you. I don't know what I'm going to do without you, either. Well, you have your pony. Yes, sir. I'm going to miss you anyway. Hey, what are you trying to do? Keep me from going to Chicago? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, Danny. I've been trying for the last five... I, I, I always wanted to... Hey, Randy! Well, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed, Barry. Well, wait a minute. Oh, I knew something like this was going to happen. And here I am with two tickets to Chicago. Now, what am I going to do with it? Danny, how would you like to go to Chicago? I'd rather go there than any place in the world. What do you say, Mrs. Blake? Somebody's got to use the extra ticket. Well, I... Oh, please, Mom, let me go. Yeah, what do you say, Mom? You take good care of him. Oh, I'll bring him back safe and sound. On the sunny side of the rocky, where the desert kisses the sea. All right, Chicago or bus? Chicago or 